Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a message for Aries for the full moon on October 1st. This is about what are you letting go of? Your patterns, your habits here in the first row and then your triggers, subconscious, the new life. And then I will give you a trust your vibe oracle. Now this full moon is a doozy. It's October 1st and um, this is not an immediate. It's a full moon. So it's what you're letting go of. And it's in a six month cycle until it goes back into Aries new moon. So what is it that we're letting go of? Um, and I wanna say thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, hit the button and please hit the bell so you know when I'm uploading. So let's start here. This is about old way of being, doing things in a different way, a different person, releasing, surrendering. So the f first card for Aries is the fool. So here, with what is it that you want to let go of? It's funny that the pattern's the habit. So do you keep starting something again? Are you looking at moving towards? Let's see what's coming up with the subconscious and then we'll give you an overall on what is happening here for Aries. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in your subconscious star for your triggers. So we have here the old identity the subconscious, and I'm sorry for the new life, and they are in reverse. And then I will give you, um, at the bottom of the deck, the hanged man. Okay, Aries, let's look at it. So the full moon here for you is talking about what you're not releasing where you are right now is wanting this new change. You could be on a new journey, giving birth to something new here with the full card starting as, you see, a baby. It's like it... It's trusting the unknown. It's trusting its way forward here. But what this is talking about, this is the letting go of the pattern, the subconscious mind. You're still, with the Wheel of Fortune, is telling me that you keep recycling the same old ways, wanting to try things again as new, but you're going in the new with the old ways, things that are not yet heal things that are karmic patterns cycles and within this that what it's saying is that you have to shift your perspective right now it's hanging in there like i said this is not a fast way of moving forward and again as you shift we have the eight of wands which it says movement with the star in its reversal when the star card comes out the star card is, what is your will with this card, right? This is the card number 17, which talks about source, being the best version of you, shining bright, being authentic to yourself. Now, this is where you want to go. This is the new life, the new identity. But what is holding you back is the wheel, is patterns and cycles. What you keep doing again and again and again, same thing but not healing the wounds of the past. This is your opportunity right now, Aries, to heal the past and to shift your perspective so you can step on something new. So possibly right now you're on a new journey, but you're on a new journey still with needing to heal the patterns and the cycles of your old identity of the past with, so, <laughs> we trust your vibe. Let's see what cards come out. We trust your vibe. This is, oh my God, get a new story and fake it till you make it. And yeah, fake it till you make it and get a new story. Aries, this is all about you healing the old wound. Excuse me, and I gotta grab these cards here. It's about healing the old wound. It is about letting go. What is it? I've made some cards here. What is it? that you are releasing and we're gonna pick a mantra for you. And your mantra for tomorrow is, I release what no longer resonates with me. So write that down, I release what no longer resonates with me and tomorrow really do a ritual, start tonight. But again, this is about change. It is about having a new experience, letting go of the old identity, the triggers of the subconscious mind and really stepping into, but this is being stuck in the self, sense of your past. So go towards it, Aries, go towards the new, and really write a new story for yourself so you can begin anew, but you do have work to do. And as you have work to do, you can create a new story for yourself. Until next time, until in a few days, sending you much love and light. Happy full moon. Namaste.